part two. Let's get this baby painted. Good morning, Mr. Moon. Good morning. This is so nice. We're masking up. Masking. Masking. I'm just winging it, Chris. I'm just winging it, Ethan. Just wing it. Good at winging it. I'm a wigger. Look at this masking look. I winged it. Look at the end. Hand got to clean. I'm winging it. Ethan, I'm winging it. Day two on a second coat, doing underneath the bow and the inside of the hull. It wasn't easy yesterday, but we started four o'clock again this morning. Wait, it's five now, isn't it? A long time I've been there There's Ethan, look, pretending he actually does paint in, but I picked up the paintbrush. Look, you can see it doesn't actually do any work because he has got no paint on him. Unlike me, who is covered, covered everywhere. Everywhere I stand up to my nickname, I am always in a pickle. Here we go, painting pickle number two. I got quite a lot of paint in my hair and cut the bubble out. <laughs> so, after our painting episode today, coat number three on the underneath and the inside of the holes, it's not too bad. It's not brilliant, but it's an old boat and it's not too bad. So Ethan decided he's going to tackle um, a job which he said he was going to do in November when we first got pickle. Um, and it's taken him quite a few months. Apparently it's brilliant. So this is what he's doing. Can you say hello? Yeah. Well, not so much the cover, more like the bit of wood that sort of supports the engine cover. You can see a bit of woodwork going on, a bit of chiselling and sawing and a bit of grooving. All that proper woodwork tools I might add, which is a bit of a shame, but it's what we've got here, isn't it, to work with, so we've made the best of it. Um, yeah, it's actually doing really, really well. So, well done, Ethan. It's just taking a very long time. Yeah, another job done. Another lesson learned. Something we could pass on to anybody who wants to be our patrons and support us. And come aboard and maybe have a lesson on woodwork or engines. Engine service day, that might be a good day. That's for children, you'd have to put up with those. Let's hope you like children <laughs> and dogs. I'm bright red and I'm sweating and I'm not even started fiberglassing. We're just preparing. Mum, say hi guys. Hi guys. Let's go and see what I'm fiberglass in. I'm fiberglass in because he can't. Why can't, why can't you? I don't do it. I've you don't a, do a lot. I don't do it because I've got a bone in my leg. I do it because I'm the cripple. I still lay down doing everything. You're, you're the best fiberglasser. Who did that inside? I Look said, at the same does, Look at this is my arm. I said, whoever does the first bit inside ends up doing it all. Oh. Why have you got a fiberglass bag on you? This is our baby Boza, snuggled on his cushion, out of the sun, and away from that stinky smell of fiberglass. We're off out now, look. Day out, lots of relaxing and fun. We played on the tender we found that come with the boat. Old and stinky, but worked okay. And then we had fun at the beach, splashing around in the sunshine. Back to work the next morning with a beautiful sunrise. Sorry it's so quiet, but it's 4 a.m. and I'm whispering. bump shoulders constantly and bicker about who's doing what and where. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. This is 
Then blue. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Considering how much you know we've had to do, it's like you know, send back to that fiberglass basically. It was about to take repair, so I haven't used fiberglass because I don't want to put that in the intersection. But yeah, three coats, multi coats, you know, hemp and multi coat. Really, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. We did five and two, like I said, and yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, it's what it is, but we've got to accept it, haven't we? Oh, but so this is what we've, we've done, and this is what we're going to do tonight. Oh, that's the outside of it. We haven't done lots of filling in the sand bin, we decided against it just because. A little bit concerned that we fill them out so I'm just explaining that we haven't used high gloss because we don't really want to point out any imperfections and we haven't done much filler, much filling and sanding because we're worried about the filler failing and then if that fails and comes off, uh, you'll lose your paint as well and it'll be worse. So, painting over the whole thing and giving a few coats should hopefully do a better finish than an old boat. Fingers crossed. Here we show the preparation of cleaning the hull beforehand with some acetone. And we also did a fast forward video of us roll and tipping. So if anybody's ever used this method or wants to know how you do it, this is it. It's a bit speeded up, but you'll get the idea and it'll, it's okay when you get going. It's, um, it's all right. It actually gives quite a nice finish. And we did okay. We didn't bump into each other too much. <laughs> As you can see, it does take a little while and obviously takes two of you to do it together, but it is worth it if you think our boat is really quite old and we had bumps and you know lumps and bumps all over when we sanded it. Um, it has given quite a nice finish um, and it's even stayed on till today, so it's worth it. You know, go for it, guys. You can do it. Holes are painted underneath is painted. The top deck is underpainted and we've got a few really grippy stuff and top of that which is going to take a bit of time. So today we are now doing the um hole and taking. Or not, it might be really bad. And uh, the other half is is actually doing the anti -power. Say hi! Oh. And those stupid little gaps between boats. Let's hope you don't flip in there. Do you want an answer lesson? It's quite simple. Mix it up, thick as shit. Bung it on. There we go. We'll see what it looks like when it's finished. <laughs> it's going back. It's gold. Higher. Higher. Or not. Being trouble. <laughs> we are doing through hull fittings for a new seacock for a new toilet. And this is all very exciting because we don't really do Mom, through show hull. Show me, show me. Or skin fittings down there. We're fitting it through down there. Can you see me? Hello, guys. Hi. I'm videoing it from in here so they can all see what you're doing. Wow, it's a hole in our hole. <laughs> Come Woo. That's a bit thick on the outside. Why is that there?
we're going to fit it. How exciting. Well, we'll show you how it goes later. Yeah, even if it won't seal them outside. So this is the finished toilet and um, seat cup fitting malarkey. And there's the, the there, yeah, there's a the new toilet. Isn't, isn't it pretty? It's got a little handle that you pump, <laughs> and it works because we tested it. Obviously, not with seawater because we're so dry. We sorry, we didn't video doing it. Yeah, we didn't video doing it. And there's the hole. So I've been a bit stressful. There's the seat cup at the back that we did. New one coming in. All the new nice neat. Pipe work that we did way better than the shitty pipe work that was only before. And, the and then cup, there's the other C cup. Which I'm sure some people are going to comment on why you put it in your old tank. Because there's nowhere else for it to go. And it's way above any sort of level. Oh, we can't put this old tank in. If we can help it. We we'll use the one on the other side. We have got two. Which you can use either holding tank or pumping out. And this is Ethan's attempt at fitting a transducer that's it this is a depth sander apparently i can't have a fish finder so we have yeah. a depth sander so instead there it is look at that all oh, stick flexed up on the inside just to make it all we just got to put the nice and tight gizmo in. yeah we just got to put all the gizmo in and put all the wiring also. we've got a brand new raymarine um axiom nine axiom nine that's it with all the gubbins. And the Raymarine AIS and the Raymarine Autopilot. And I went all out and got the Raymarine AIS simply because, and honestly, so that my mum um, and stepdad can follow me around the world. Which was best That's part. probably yeah. the only reason why it's £900 to have an AIS. Yeah. But mum, you know I love you. Um, yeah, so we've got that, and we've got the Rain Marine Autopilot. So we've just got about the next 10 years paying off my credit card for that because that come to a small bloody fortune, but it is going to be worth it. So I have now an old potter, which maybe I could donate or sell or something. It's, it's got maps on it and everything. It's actually quite a good one, but it's never good enough for Ethan because he wants every gadget going and he's a pain in the backside, aren't you? Maybe months constantly to get all new gadgets and i've said no every time no we've got we've got it we know we don't need it and then days before we go in i am um, what's it called give in give in but i give in anyway. but we can let the people out there decide which one we should have had when we show them the old one to the new one no it's money it was nothing to do with not wanting a nice new one we've now got a rain ring fancy ass fancy ass one where the maps cost flipping hundreds of pounds oh have we got any maps ethan not yet but we'll... we haven't got any maps we've got a fancy ass bloody plotter with no maps <laughs> what are you going to do with that not a bloody lot so we'll probably use the old one i'm going to get maps for it And while we're Can at it, I will cat? show you the um, silic. No, not what's it called. What did I do? Fiberglass. in. I did the other day when I was all wrapped up to the bloody nines and sweltering heat. I'm just lifting up the boards down here. I'm just. I'm in the. I'm in the cockpit. Is that what this is called? Cockpit. Doing the whole thing. Bobby. The jobby. Say hello. Hey. I don't know why I've put board in and, the plant. Oh, there's even leaves falling in here. Look in here. See in there. All of that, that was a big empty hole that literally you could it. see the sea through. Well, you would see the sea if it was on the sea, but we're on the dry at the moment. But there's a big hole. I have no idea why there's a hole underneath there or why someone thought of cutting it out and leaving a hole. I don't know. Anyway, we've cutting. made a whole new. What, darling? Yeah, yeah store oh, things in it. Yeah, oh, made a whole new little, cupboard, little story hole. And it's all fiberglass. Oh, that's a good job, isn't it? Haven't I done a jolly good job? I don't like fiberglassing. It is the worst job in the world. But if anybody fancies a lesson in fiberglassing and wants to come aboard and I'll show you, then uh, become a patron, sponsor us, and I'll give you a lesson in anything you bloody like. All right then. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, press the like button and subscribe and you'll get notified when our next videos are out. Next week, we are launching the boat, taking it for a sail, and then we end up getting rescued. Uh -uh.